something really cool has popped up on my Twitter feed. Luma AI has created a text to 3D model model that basically if we go on their website, this is so cool. Let's see. Iron Man with his suit. That's the text that's inputted into the machine learning model. And then an actual 3D model you can rotate, zoom in and out. Oop, bad placement. Oop, sorry. Is generated, which the possibilities for this are literally so insane. Game development, movie creation, etc. It's really going to help speed up the process of a lot of these workflows. And you can even download them in OBJ or GLTF. Now, currently, we cannot generate any models just yet. They just came out with this. However, at the pace that things are progressing, I imagine this will not be too soon out in the future. And so we can scroll through some of these. There's actually some pretty funny ones here. I am Gru. <laughs> I like this one. Cute and adorable ferret wearing a coat and suit. So how does this actually work? So if you aren't familiar with Stable Diffusion, it's basically a text to image model that's been very popular on the internet. I even made a whole website called pixela.ai where you can upload and download textures. And these are all made with Stable Diffusion, which is a machine learning algorithm. And these are tileable, so you can actually stack them on top of each other. And so what Luma and actually Dream Fusion, which is very similar to what Luma is doing, which is text to 3D. And this was done by the Google Brain Research Team, but there wasn't really any way to make your own 3D models just from this paper. So what they're doing is, let's say we want to render a frog with a sweater such as this. So you take the text frog with a sweater, then you output an image of the frog with the sweater. But you don't only output one image, you output many images, an array of images at different angles. So you'll see there's different angles of the animal right here. And this is all using a text to image model. In this case, they used Imogen, which is also Google's text to image model. They render a list of images at different viewpoints of the animal. For example, we have the frog with the sweater. We input frog wearing a sweater front view frog wearing a sweater side view, frog wearing a sweater top view. And so once you have these different images that represent different angles, then you feed them into what's called a neural radiance field or a NERF, which a NERF is basically a 3D representation of a space created from a set of 2D images. So it interpolates these images with machine learning so that you have this smoothless transition from one image to the next. It basically fills out all the little missing holes between the images. And with these examples, they've basically taken some images of an environment and they're stitching them together with the NERF or the neural radiance field. And so you'll see how with the NERF model, look how well this 3D model looks just from a few images. And recently with more advancements, it's done in a matter of one or two seconds which NVIDIA is to thank for making it so fast with their instant nerfs. In just a few seconds, it outputs a whole 3D model. Look how well that looks just from some input images. And so that's basically how they're able to create these 3D models from just text alone. They don't actually have a huge data set of text to 3D models because that would be very large and it would take terabytes upon terabytes of space and just be very inefficient to parse through all of that. So what they've done is they've taken the existing text to 2D image and basically adapted that to generate a 3D model, which is so cool. And let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. It is very interesting, although it is a little scary how fast things are progressing because it makes you think, especially with chat GPT as well being released recently. But as technology advances, we either adapt or we don't. And it's actually really exciting to see all of these new features come up. Is this Mark Zuckerberg? I'm pretty sure this is Mark. Maybe. No. So yeah, if you like this cute puppy in a Santa costume, hit like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want more stuff like this, let me know. I'm still learning about all this ML and AI stuff more in depth. And there is just a lot of information. So let me know if you want me to explain anything. However, not too in depth just yet. And so tomorrow I'll be publishing a tutorial on how to generate seamless textures using the automatic 111's web UI for stable diffusion. So
so that you can make seamless textures for your game and generate maps for them which is cool and so if you did enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe and thank you to all my patrons for their support as always and i'll see you next time